Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Blue Archive. In the last part, uh, I think we did the New Year's Rhapsody event. So now, we're moving on to the next one, the Valentine's event, which is consistent of two separate stories. Well, it's the same, uh, they're all, the, let me rephrase that. It's all within the same event, but there's kind of like two separate little stories. So, uh, we're gonna do that. Oh, Lord. Banging out and trying to bang out these events as often as I can. Just got with this thing to load. Probably should have did this before I started recording. Because initially when I load this thing up on blue on blue stacks, it takes it takes an age and a half to uh, load the transition. Ow, that was loud. Alright, so, event stories, we're moving on to the Happy Valentine's. I don't know if I'll do the stories, I probably won't, I'll probably, I probably won't do these. Because throughout the events, you do like, they're, they're similar to the relationship stories, I don't know if I'll do these, maybe I will. Um, obviously, you know, I didn't get a chance, I didn't have, wasn't able to get all of them, so, obviously... It's a shame. Maybe when it comes back, I will. But maybe I'll do these. So who knows? All right. So uh, uh, let's do it. We got we got initially started off with this, and uh, I'll figure out where uh, they go in the recordings, or not the recordings, the, in the uh, editing. There's three separate stories to this, and there's a whole thing for the for the other one. I think this is the first one. Prologue, here we go. One day, shortly before Valentine's Day, I was contacted by Fubuki and Kirit Karina. You want me to help you with your patrols? There are all kinds of big events around, around DU during Valentine's Day season. I almost said session. There's a chocolate cake bake-off that invites famous bakers, Valentine's Day chocolate exhibition that showcases famous chocolate desserts from all over Kavodos. Damn. Why is it lagging? Why? Oh, and don't forget the uber popular chocolate eating contest. And the chocolate marathon, those are real hit too. Alright, you know what? I don't know why this is lagging. Alright, I restarted my, uh, I've restarted blue stack, so I think they fixed the lagging problem. Oh, and don't forget the uber powerful chocolate eating contest and the chocolate marathon, those are real hit too. And you can't leave out the annual pet chocolate competition. Contestants nurture that chocolate for a whole year just to show it off now. Uh, I was following along until the last one. What? Don't worry about the details for now. The Public Safety Bureau is usually in charge of security for events like these. Though this year's events are said to be bigger than ever, we came up with the idea to ask for your help while going over the security detail once since we're still short-handed. Can you help us, Sensei? I doubt you'd have anything better to do during Valentine's Day. Fubuki, you can't just say that. Just give me a little credit. I have plans. You do? Oh. Still, though, how can you turn down a request from, other, from your adorable students? Don't be so cold-hearted. I promise we'll share our donuts with you, too. Come on. Give the donuts. Of course I'll help. <laughs> now you're talking my language. Thank you. How could I say no when you'll be working so hard on Valentine's? This is Valentine's Day we're talking about. An important holiday. It's a, it's a day of exchanging chocolate and being happy. Keeping smiles on people's faces is what the Valkyrie Police School is all about. It's so rare to hear you say so much, show you so much school spirit, Fubuki. You're gonna make me cry. Plus, all the shops will give their leftover donuts when they see how hard I'm working. Win-win, am I right? Pays to be a Valkyrie Police School cadet. 
Kabuki. <laughs> well, we know her motives. Anyway, thanks for agreeing to help us with our patrols. See you on Valentine's Day, Sensei. Oh boy. Happy Valentine Patrol! Soon, val soon val Valentine's Day arrived, and I set out to help Kabuki and Karina with their patrols like I promised. The shopping district is busting with a huge crowd for Valentine's Day. Come get your special rose chocolate sets, 20% off for a limited time! How about taking a bite of our sweet mint chocolates? They're buy one, get one free during our mint, mint choco parfait event. Nothing makes a gift for your friends, family, colleagues, or that special, or that someone special like mint chocolate. Happy Valentine's Day! We're running a special just for couples. Come on down and see what we have to offer. These are really popping off. I continue to walk along, walk along the shopping district street, taking in the festive atmosphere. Hey, word on the street is your shop is the place to be. Is it true that you sell some kind of lucky chocolate here? Why yes, we carry like lucky chocolates in the shape of four-leaf clovers. Would you care to buy one? But other rumors true. Will eating increase my luck? Oh, no. It's just a thing, so to speak. The design is for, is for marketing. I can't guarantee you'll do something that can increase your luck. But we already bought some lotto tickets ahead of time. We're gonna get we're gonna scratch them off after eating those chocolates. Actually, I couldn't wait and already scratched one of, my, one of my numbers off. Didn't look like a winner, though. But the number could change after I eat chocolate, right? I don't think it works that way. I wish it did. As soon as you doubt that's gonna happen. Huh? Aren't you that sensei person from Shale? Are you on patrol or something? Why are you singling us out from the crowd? Think we'll cause trouble? That's called profiling, you know? <laughs> you don't have to rub it in. I already know I didn't win. Can't you just let a helmet-clad girl hold on to her dreams? Yeah, we can't throw in the towel now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even come, I didn't come to fight you. I just I just dropped by and say hello. What the? How rude. Good, we were able to incapacitate them before the situation escalated. Now to dispose of the bodies. Uh, I mean, move the wounded to the infirmary. Thanks for your help. I was only doing my duty as a member of the medical emergency club. You didn't, you didn't thank me. Is that you, Sen Senna? Where the hell did you come from? Hmm? Ah, <clears throat> uh, hello, Ghost Sensei. I didn't see you here. <clears throat> you were on patrol? I see. You must be on behalf of Shale. Curious as to what brings me here. I was told there would be the dead bodies. Oh, God. I beg your pardon. I mean to say, I was told there would be numerous wounds from combat. <coughs> so, I've been patrolling the area as part of my club activities. <coughs> I didn't realize the medical emergency club did that kind of thing. Oh, that. Oh, something stuck in the back of my throat. <clears> throat> Ugh. Yeah. Valentine's Day is a special ex exception during being such an important holiday. It's meant to be a day where people exchange chocolate to convey the feelings that they carry in their hearts. It's rather a whole, it's a rather wholesome event when you think about it. One worth protecting. It's a little surprising to hear that from you. However, those good intentions are why we must remain all the more vigilant on a day like today. Some ne'er do wells may use the season to target stores carrying specialty chocolates, as you saw before. You know, I have a I have a story about this. Um, back when I was working for Walmart, this, and, and I still can't believe this actually happens. Uh, I think this was close to probably. I think it was on lunch or uh, di uh, my dinner meal that day. <clears throat> um, but this so this is probably like like close to seven seven p.m. So I'm coming back, right? And I'm smelling like smoke or something. I couldn't figure out why. But then 
I looked toward, over to I look, looked up at the ceiling towards the far end of the store where, the, where our garden center is where we keep all of our seasonal stuff and I saw scorch marks on the ceiling so I, could, I looked up and I, look, and I looked at it and said what the fuck is that what happened well I was gone for lunch for an hour because you know it doesn't matter if, it's, if, I, if it was a day off or if I was on break all the excite, exciting stuff always happens when I'm not around. So, yeah, I'm seeing like the scorch marks on the ceiling. Turns out someone put a bunch of uh, hot, uh, Valentine's chocolate in the center of the Valentine's aisle and set it on fire. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm surprised I, the fire alarms didn't go off for some reason. So it was kind of it was kind of strange that they, that uh, that happens, but. That was crazy, man. Uh -huh. They literally set, they almost set the whole uh, Valentine's Isle on fire. It's like, damn, that person must have got rejected or something. Crazy shit happens at Walmart, you know? That's where all the excitement happens. Conflicts can also arise between rival merchants or over, over chocolate sales, and where still forces beyond our understanding can clash between the hearts of particular people. There's no telling how many dead bodies that could litter the streets on a day like this. Uh, I mean, how many people could get injured? There isn't a moment to rest on a day like like listen, Kavoto. She really likes dead bodies, apparently. Is that? Hopefully, uh, that's not like a fetish or something. She's very obsessed with them. I find this to be the busiest season of all, as the medical emergency club is as as the medical medical emergency club president. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are more disasters for me to prevent. That doesn't seem very likely. You're too naive, Sensei. This has to get struck at a moment's notice. Like that. Uh. What's going on? That building suddenly collapsed. Look, there's a news flash. There's a news flash. Breaking news. This is just from, this is just just in from the DU shopping district number three. The wanted criminal known as the Fox of Calamity has been spotted. All citizens in the vicinity of the shopping district are urged to evacuate. Fox of Calamity? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Reporting from the shopping district, we've got eyes on the suspect. We don't know what you hope, what you hope to accomplish, but there's nowhere to run. Swear now, Kusaku Wakamo. My mind, you gnats again. Move, you're in my way. No oh boy. She got us. Man, man. It's cannon fodder. How bold of you to assume you can stop me? The time has come. What I've been longing for is within my grasp. Identified as the medical emergency club president, I cannot allow you to injure any more civilians. We already have enough work on our plates. This is a surprise. You don't seem like a Valkyrie student. Oh dear, why must so many people get in my way? All I want is to stop right there. An opening. Take the shot, Karina. Roger that. Here I come, Foxy Calamity. All right, Sensei. Now's our chance. Huh? What the? She fainted. Are you serious? Suspect restrained. Excellent work, everyone. Huh? Way to go, Karina. You took down the fox to come like she was nothing. This is a big deal. But I don't think I actually... I'm not even sure what happened. Eh, don't sweat the details. Regardless of how it happened, you managed to subdue one of the infamous seven prisoners. Talk about bragging rights. You think so? The fox of calamity? That's a combo, right? 
All oh, right, I heard you had a run in with Wakama a while back. Like, way at the beginning. We haven't seen Wakama since the prologue of Blue Archive. I read about that in Valkyrie's documents before. I read about that in doc Valkyrie's documents before. It said Wakama escaped from the Corrections Bureau, and then but then Ghost Sensor took command and resolved the situation. The situation. Oh, yeah, I think that happened. Hmm, well, anyway. The Fox of Calamity is a moniker, is a moniker Kasaka Wakamo earned. She brings destruction with her everywhere she goes. As for the seven prisoners, they escaped the Corrections Bureau alongside Wakamo while the General Student Council was in disarray after their president went missing. And you're saying there's seven of them? There sure are. Only one is in custody now, so there's six more out there. That means criminals just as vile as Wakama are lurking around in any, any given corner of Kavodos. Scary stuff, huh? Uh oh. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, at least sound a little enthused. Lie off, Ibuki. That's a lot of information to take in at once. Regardless, Wakama is considered one of the most violent among the seven prisoners. She'd been laying low ever since that last incident, so I was wondering what she might be up to. I didn't expect to run into her today, but that's for sure. I bet we could snag a pretty nice reward for this. Ooh. Knock it off, Ibuki. That's all you ever care about. Anyway, that's all. thanks all for your help today, you two. We'll treat you two to something nice if we really do get her that, that reward. That's quite alright. I was only carrying out my duty. Come on, no need to be so modest. Didn't something happen? Didn't something off about Wakama seem a little off? What do you mean? It seems she had some kind of goal in mind for her attack. She became flustered when we confronted her. Did something make her lose her focus? Hmm. Well, no use thinking about it now. There's no point in trying to apply logic when it comes down to, comes to how a criminal like her thinks. She's in custody now, so it doesn't matter. Maybe. Come in, all Valkyrie students in DU. The wanted criminal known as the Fox of Clowning has been arrested. Requesting the support of all Valkyrie students in DU to help transport the suspect. Please come to East Street as soon as possible. That means us, Fubuki. We have to go. Aw, oh, man. Haven't we worked, out, uh, haven't, haven't we worked hard enough, enough for one day? Walking all the way to cor the Corrections Bureau sounds like a, pl like, like a pain. Don't be like that. We arrested her, so we have to see this through to the end. Yeah, yeah. The last thing I wanted to do is submit a written apology for ignoring orders. That would probably wipe out any hope of our reward, too. Alright, we'll be right back, Sensei. Make sure to keep patrolling while we're gone. See you soon! Lord. Well, that takes care of that, I suppose. We should be- We should both be getting back to our patrols now. Yeah. Can to join me? my Valentine's patrol alongside Senna, still reeling over what happened. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, we've seen the first two uh, introductory missions to the Valentine's Day, so now we're going on to the Wakamo stuff. So let's do it. Press assault. Hmm, you've been patrolling for a while now, but have yet to spot spot any dead bodies. She really loves dead bodies. Sorry, I meant to say wounded. Why do you sound so disappointed? Please don't misunderstand. I naturally I don't wish to see any dead bodies. I somehow doubt that. I mean, I don't want to see anyone harmed. <laughs> well, perhaps I have a do have a morbid curiosity. See, I was right. However, I'm, bring, I'm being sincere when I say I don't want anyone to be harmed. After all, the, na the nature of our club means that there's no work. That when there's no work, there's peace. Sounds like you put a lot of thought into this. Yes, but that doesn't mean that I cannot still be disappointed. We're right back to square one! <laughs> Sen and I kept chatting as we reached the end of the, end of the street. Phone call. 
Security system reboot complete. Oh, never mind. There shouldn't be any issues now. Thank you so much. Your you Veritas students are the best. Yeah, we'll be ready for anything. You're welcome. I'll be going then. Hey, Chihiro. Hmm? Sensei? Who's this you're with? A student from Chihana? The two of you make for an unexpected combination on Valentine's Day. That must mean... I'm patrolling the festivities with Sensei. My duty is to keep an eye out for dead bodies. The... Dead bodies? Is this patrol sanctioned? It's just a regular security patrol! What about you, Chirito? Chihiro? Denying it so vehem ve ve vehemently. I can never say this word. Ve vehemently? Only makes you sound all the more suspicious. But if you say so. As for me, I was asked to check security systems around the festival at Valkyrie's request. I'll be updating any out of date equipment and making sure things are, such as sensors and sprinkler systems are all still compliant. A lot of work goes into making sure large gatherings like this are safe for everyone's involved. Sounds like you have a lot on your plate. It's nothing I can't handle. Besides, it was a formal request made direct to Veritas. I have to pick up the slack now that President Himari is taking a leave of absence. Besides, it's Valentine's Day, isn't it? It's only natural I would want everyone to enjoy, to enjoy it. You're something else, Chihiro. You don't have to flatter me. So, you said you have, you're on some kind of patrol? Yes. I have more security systems that I still need to check. Would you like to come with? I don't see why not. There could be dead bodies awaiting to be discovered. I mean, injured people to help who need our help. Right. Are you sure you two aren't up to something illegal? I swear! Oh boy. Ugh, escorting prisoners and criminals is so boring, it's as boring as it gets. Fubuki, you're going to get chewed out if the captain catches you yawning like that. You worry too much. Try to loosen up a little. Who is the captain of the, of the safety bureau anyway? I don't think I, I don't think we've seen the captain yet. Uh, uh, if we have, I don't remember. I do not. I'm trying to remember just who it is we're escorting. See, you're worrying too much, just like I said. I'm just being cautious, like like I should be. I mean, we're dealing with one of the infamous seven criminals who managed to escape from the corrections bureau. The fox of calamity. I heard she even rounded up other troublemakers after she escaped to launch an attack on the general student council. Even they had trouble dealing with her. Wasn't that just because they could, they were preoccupied with the general student council president went missing? Still, we shouldn't let our guard down. Not that the rumor I heard the other day is true. What rumor? They say the Fox of Calamity is so wicked and vicious that she can bewitch anyone who comes in contact with and make them do what she says. You've been watching too much anime. Try relaxing a little. You really are a worry ward. Am I? Think about it. Not only are we here, but so is the security bureau. After she was arrested, she was relieved of everything in her possession except for her clothes and her back and that mask of hers. Even the Foxy Calamity can't escape without a weapon. It'd be totally impossible unless she was made of magic or something. What was that? You and your big mouth! Was that an explosion? Maybe a pipe burst somewhere? Something tells me we're not that lucky. This just in moments ago, a Valkyrie police van escorting a criminal to the corrections bureau suddenly exploded. As we speak, a number of gangs have taken advantage of the situation to cause chaos. Oh god. Sensei, come in! Kabuki? That was the Fox of Calamity escaping just now. She's mobilized the gangs to steal an armored car and weapons from the Valkyrie Police School. We need your help, Sensei. If we don't catch her, then it'll be a lot worse than having to write out an apology letter. I might have my, I might have my vacation days cut. She was last seen heading toward. Uh oh. I think I found her. <laughs> I know the scent. I never let my prey get away once I've set my eyes on it. Please. So much for the patrol. Now we're off to the silence and feasts. 
Everyone joining for forces to a subdue Wakamo for a second time. Phew! We caught Wakamo again and avoided a disaster thanks to you, Sensei. Thank you for your cooperation. Don't mention it. Wasn't that Valkyrie Police School equipment they were using? How did they get their hands on it? Well, uh, I was, it was sort of stolen in the commotion. How could the police school allow such valuable equipment to be stolen so easily? It's unacceptable. How is, how is the police school security system? Does it utilize auto lock and user verification? Which company's verification system do you use? If you tell me the name of the software, I can figure out how they got around the verification process. Well, as for a security system, I think it uses the password. Maybe? You mean you were using only a one-step verification process? Yep, I'm pretty sure it was the security bureau captain's birthday. People always forget it, so they usually leave a note with the password instead of the patrol card's glove, block, glove boxes. That is so bad. That is not good. Don't never, never do that. Especially when it's the, when it's the police force. How could Valkyrie be so careless when it comes to security? I'll just, have, I'll just have to take matters in my own hands. Come on. Yeah, it was rough for going for a little while, but we caught her again. No harm done. You call us a happy ending? Sorry about her. I keep telling Fubuki to take things more seriously. And I keep telling you not to sweat the small stuff. Anyway, is it just my imagination or did she go straight for Sensei after she escaped? I mean, it might not be a bit of coincidence. Why, why, could the, why would the Fox of Calamity target Sensei? Beats me. I know she holds a grudge against the General Student Council. Maybe she, she hates Shale too? Well, whatever. At least we stopped her. I guess so. We should get back to the escort and Wakama to the where she belongs. This time we'll keep an eye on her. Sure. Best of luck. I have a headache. At least we were able to stop the situation from escalating. Yeah, we, I should get back to what I was doing. I'll see, what you, I'll see you later then. I'll have to remember to give the people in the charge of Valkyrie's security a piece of my mind later. Good luck and thanks for your help. Of course, I'll see you later, Sensei. Shall we patrol let's continue our patrol? Yeah. Something still feels off though. Sam and I resume the patrol after what happens. Oh boy. Second assault? Oh no! To think she managed to escape once already. There's no point in resisting again now that you're in the hands of the Corrections Bureau. Go on, get in your cell. <laughs> Still as unkept as ever, I see. Keep your complaints to yourself. The captain will be here to interrogate you soon. I hope you're ready to explain your a your actions at the festival. Unless, of course, you'd rather be increase your prison sentence even further. Interrogation? That sounds lovely. More cooperative than I was expecting. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll exercise my right to remain silent. What was that? Do you understand the situation you're in? Naturally, that's why I refuse to incriminate myself. I have no intention of speaking to anyone except, except for Sensei. Sensei? Do you mean the advisor of Shale? The one that was giving commands at the scene? The report we received said you were targeting Sensei. Why would we allow you to see them now? <laughs> Very well, if that's how it's going to be. Huh? You insist on getting in my way, do you? Fine. In that case, I have just a thing. Oh boy. Hmm? What's she doing? Uh oh, she's gonna break free somehow. Sen and I were still quietly patrolling the streets when. Oh boy. Since they come in, we just received word that Wakamo escaped from the corrections bureau. Again? I wonder how she escaped. Oh boy, she's back again. You won't get away this time. This lady just won't give up. We managed to subdue her again. Thanks, Sensei. I don't know what we'd do without you. 
She managed to escape from the Crux's Bureau this time. It sounds like they were blaming it on this facility they placed her in. Supposedly, it wasn't up to date. She managed to take advantage of that and escaped. Scary stuff. This is why I've been saying we can't underestimate the Fox of Calamity. I still feel like there's something we're missing. Accidents happen. There's no use in crying over spilled milk. This time we'll be tra transferred to the Corrections Bureau's newest facility. There's no need to worry. Right, we'll make sure she gets there without any hiccups. If you say so, good luck you two. Shall we continue our patrol again, Sensei? None of this phases you, does it, Senna? <laughs> I remain nervous, but we resume the patrol yet again. Oh no. The third assault. Hey, Fox soups up. I bet you'll be ready to spill everything we want to know once your belly is full of this. You think eating this slob will make me want to, want to confess? You bet, Chef. Valkyrie Police School is Oyaka. Oya I can never say this word. Oyako. Oyako. Uh, Oyakodon. Is that how you say it? I don't even know. I don't know Japanese. I don't know. I, it's hard to say some Japanese food. But I think that's how you say it. Oyakodon. Yakodon. What, whatever. The same is for its effectiveness. So that's the solution I came up with as soon as I cho chose to ex exercise my right to remain silent. How devious. Did they put truth serum in it? Could you ever put something in it? Like a truth serum, so to speak. We never said that. Give us some credit. It's just so good that you'll be compelled to talk when you're done. Yeah, I somehow doubt that. And she's gonna escape again, doesn't she? I was still patrolling in the streets when Senna win! Sensei, come in! It happened again, didn't it? Yep. Third time. Gosh, it's persistent. I knew it. This time, you're mine. She's like an itch that won't go away. How did she escape this time? She somehow used Oyakodon. She was served to make her make. To pick, she was served to pick her handcuffs. Don't ask me how that's possible. I'm starting to get why they call her the Fox of Calamity. That doesn't make any sense. It's fine though. She'll be served with soba noodles for, for dinner. Let's see her escape handcuffs this time. That's your foolproof plan? Don't worry. I said it'll be fine. <laughs> you said that last time. And the time before that too. I'm sure you'll be still be super careful this time. Sure. Learning from mistakes is what the Valkyrie Police School is all about. Thanks again for the help, Sensei. We've got to get back to work. God. Right. Back to patrolling. Please let it be over this time. What is Oyakodon? Oyakodon is a Japanese rice bowl dish in which chicken, egg, sliced scallion, and other ingredients are all simmered together in a kind of a soup that is made from soy sauce and stock, and stock then stirred on top of a large bowl of rice. I'm not quite sure how- it's, uh, yeah, I had to agree with Fubuki. Uh, I'm not quite sure how she was able to use soup to uh, pick the lock on handcuffs. I don't understand if it was like one of those things that were, that were on toothpicks, but I don't think the bad I don't think the bad cop angle is going to work with her. Let's switch up and try playing good cop then. Sounds good. Hey, Wakamo, well, saw about it earlier. We were out of line. I brought some macaron, ma macarons from the, val from the Valentine's Day Festival to apologize. I hope you like them. I say, what do you say to sitting down, breaking bread, and talking this, at, this thing out? Huh? Oh, is she gone already? Her cell's empty! Where'd she go? God damn. Uh, 
After regaining my composure, I continued to patrol the streets when Senna win. Wait, my sensei ears are tingling. You're what? I'm starting to get deja vu again. Yep. <laughs> sensei! Called it! So close, just a little more and you'll be mine. God. Ladies, I don't know when to quit. Phew. What well, comments in custody thanks to you? Again. So what was it this time? Oh. That's what I want to know. About that. I'm not sure, now that you mention it. You don't even know what happened. It's getting harder to keep track of. I'm sorry, Sensei, we promised it won't happen again. You said that how many times already? Yeah, whoever heard of lightning striking four times. Can you guarantee that? Huh? Guarantee? Well, uh... Probably not. Right now, we're doing our best. Just have a little faith, okay? Fine, I'll do just that. You're convinced just like that? Come on, we're doing everything we can, aren't we? Today's just one of those days. With that, we've gotta go. So long, so long for real this time. Yeah, definitely. Good luck with your patrol. Man. Shall we, Sensei? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Fit the salt. Senna and I's patrol had taken us to the Market Street win. I started to get that feeling again. There's something wrong matter. My gut said I was about to get a call. It was my imagination. Is that so? I was lead to be wrong, but just as we were entering the market... Oh, if it's in sensitive shale, what brings you here? I'm on patrol of the area. You and the student are working on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Don't work too hard. You're just in time, though. My shop got something great in today. I know how hard you're always working, so here, take this. What do I get? Uh, okay, thanks. Don't mention it, it was nothing. Thanks for everything you do. I got a fish, probably? He's a fishmonger. After that, we kept running into more residents who recognized me as, the, as we patrolled the street. Oh, your shell's ghost sensei. On a patrol with one of our students. My, you're just as hardworking as ever. We're popular. How about trying our brand, trying our brand new apple chocolate to relieve your fatigue? Ah, oh, isn't sensei. I'm lagging now. No. Would you also like to try my 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 store's newest specialty? Us too. I try our newest item. Oh, I try ours too. Oh God, we're super super popular among among the owners. Sen and I went to take a rest on our park bench to sort, to sort through all the items and the merchants that bombarded us with. Oh boy. They sure were generous. Yeah, I don't know if I deserve all this. Nonsense, they were only trying to show their gratitude. It may sound strange coming from me, but the citizens aren't the only ones who aren't, are in your debt. You've been looking after your, after your students like me for a long time. I could sympathize with how, with how they feel. I don't feel like I've done anything particularly special, though. It isn't necessarily that your deeds have been the most conspicuous. Security detail and stuff in conflicts, helping people around town and consulting students, giving advice and listening to their problems. I understand Sh Shea was creative with certain problems in mind, but he goes, mu he goes so much further above and beyond them, in my opinion. I'm sure that's how others feel, feel as well. The instances at today's festival have been may, may have been much worse if not for your intervention. Ah, oh, come on, you're gonna make me blush. Think of how many people were able to keep smiling today. Those store owners selling chocolate and snacks, then their customers exchanging those with people they appreciate. In many ways, that is what Valentine's Day is all about. Which makes me wonder... Hmm? I'm referring to Wakamo. Why was she wreaking havoc on the festival? Seemed like she had a reason. What could she have been after? That's a good question. It's 
clear she was targeting you based on all of her attacks. But something doesn't add up if her real goal was to neutralize Set Shale. Why enlist the help of hoodlums and steal Valkyrie equipment? Why wreak so much havoc if her target was so narrow? She's compl acting completely irrationally. It's kind of scary when you put it that way. Put it like that. Heed my advice. You should return to Shale's office. That's the quickest and easiest way to avoid her, her, her assaults. It should be possible for her to reach you if Shale's defenses are up. Prioritizing your safety for overwork should be the simplest way to prevent another, another emergency. So with that in mind, out of the question. Sensei? This patrol was a request straight from my students. I can't run away after the residents are so kind to me. You refuse to put yourself ahead of the other uh, ahead of others. Is that it? That's very befitting of you. However, I don't know whether to call that at attitude selfless or foolish. Nevertheless, I'll do everything in my power to see it to the that uh, you don't become my next cat my next cadaver. Cada cadaver? Where the fuck did that come from? Cadaver. Uh patient, I mean. Glad to hear it. Thank you, Senna. As for Wakamo. I get the feeling she... Oh boy. Sensei, come in! We have an emergency! Yep. Knew it. <laughs> Just a little more. Almost there! Please wait for me. Soon. My own hands, I'll... enough. You're the one who was, who was looked up in Sensei. Why, why are you tar why are you targeting Sensei eludes me, but rest assured they've been taken somewhere safe. I'm going to deal with this problem right here and now to prevent a real emergency in the future. Will you now? I'd like to see you try. Resistance is futile. Just... There she is! She won't escape this time, Fox of Calamity! No one left to run. Prepare to be arrested, Makamo. I'll grab your toes if you let you run away again. Put your hands up. I'm exhausted. Poor Kabuki. I believe this is checkmate. So it is. For me. Hmm? Just a little more. Oh boy. She's running away! Catch her! Oh damn. She's persistent. Shit. Good thing we were able to stop her before it was too late. She seemed to be even more resistant, th resistant this time. Yes, which makes me think about what she said before. What do you mean? Sorry, it's nothing. That aside, this makes it the fifth time she's escaped custody. I can't help but begin to question whether Valkyrie Police School is incompetent. It doesn't even begin to describe it. They don't even know the first thing about security. Chihiro! Hello, Sensei. I just finished my inspection of all the festival's security systems. I didn't expect we'd meet again so soon. Primarily because I underestimate how bad things were going to get. Veritas has concluded there are no problems with the security protocols of the festival vendors themselves. However, Valkyrie and its inability to maintain public order is another matter entirely. Just what has been going on here? You don't even know how, how right you are. Well, yeah, she makes some good points. But still, we have a perfect track record when it comes to catching her at the very least. Also, the captain says special measures are going to be taken in light of the latest incident. What kind of special measures? Well, the captain is, isn't happy with how many times Okamo has escaped by now, I, either. She's willing to admit that she can, we can't handle this on our own, so we're going to ask for help from the forces of other schools. Supposedly, we're bringing in some big guns that helped stop the Fox of Clam the first time she escaped from jail. Huh? will not that mean... Oh boy. Hello. Exactly. That's exact. That's why we've been contacted, Sensei. 
We've come full circle. To think the Fox of Calamity would choose Valentine's Day of all times to go on a rampage. We can't allow her to continue disrupting the peace for, for su on such an important event day. I don't have much experience with the Fox of Calamity beyond that one incident. Nevertheless, I'm here to lend my aid on behalf of the Prefect team. No need to be so modest, Shinatsu. Not at all. Let's do our best to protect the festival. It's been a while since the four of us were together like this. But anyway, say the word we'll bail you out this bail you out this time. Got it. Thanks, everyone. Right. Valkyrie is pitching in more security as well, so there's no chance the Fox of Climate gets away this time. We got this in the bag. And I'll go with them to check on the the security protocols. Just to be sure. You and Yuko will make will make for quite the team. What was that? Oh, the Veritas Vice President. Sure, I suppose it's reassuring to know you're the, you're here. Flattery coming from Seminar's treasurer. You're, se you're always are you always this meek on Sensei? Still, I welcome support. <laughs> oh boy. Shall we be off? We'll be back, Sensei. All right, let's finish this. There shouldn't be anything to worry about this time with this many numbers on our side. I say we finish our patrol. How about it, Sensei? Yeah, sure. Something tells me it's not gonna work out. The final confrontation. I knew it. She's being interrogated. Security bureau seems busier than ever. Well, that's because the corrections has made had to increase the security more than more than it ever has before. With all these improvements, with Wakama escaped again. No one's getting off the hook with it so with a simple apology. Security has been heightened, heightened so much that the captain says there shouldn't be a single gap for defenses. And we have we have those two students from Millennium backing us up too. Our, our electronics security is in good hands. I mean, sure. Let's just hope they can do their job between the comments, between all the comments about how bad our cyber security was before they got here. Jokes aside, we should be good now. You don't sound so convinced. What's wrong? Yeah, something still feels off. But maybe I'm overthinking it. That's probably the issue. By the way, it's kind of scary how she hasn't said a single word since she got caught. Do you think she's okay? Isn't it that good thing if she can bewitch anyone? Could, isn't that a good thing if she could bewitch anyone who comes in contact with, 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 with like you heard? You said I've been watching too much anime when I told you that. Did I? Well, anyway. <clears throat> Let me give you a word of warning, Miss Fox of Calamity. Don't even think about trying any funny business when you hear me. You hear me? Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused? Because of you, I'm starting to- I'm starting- I'm staring down the barrel of losing my vacation days, my bonuses, my grades, and they might force me to write a stinking apology letter. No way you're going to escape in this time. We get bonuses. It's the first I'm hearing of it. Shut up, Karina! I'm trying to do- I'm trying to do a thing here. Oh, right. I, um, was forced to write a hundred-page apology letter because of you Fox of Calamity. I thought my wrist was going to fall off. What are you crying for? That didn't even happen yet. Whatever. I'm impressed with the fight you put up thus far. You even got those delinquents to do your bit dirty work. That box of calamity tiles is just a show, is it? You seem to be targeting Shale and Sensei. Why would you why would you do something like that? Alpha revenge? Taking out your frustrations? Well, it's not like it matters. You should just give up. You're up against more than Valkyrie now. There are students from all over, all, all over cooperating to, to stop you. That's right, even the Fox of Clowny won't be able to escape a security this tight. Still don't want to talk, huh? Maybe you're shaking your boots. Not that I could blame you. Just when you thought you were free, you, got, you caught you yet again. Now you're under lock and key at the Corrections Bureau and have no hope of escaping again. No one could blame you for accepting your fate. I, uh... I think you made your point, Fubuki. Huh? What's got you so nervous? I'm just saying, if you say too much, you're gonna jinx it. What are you talking about? 
You can't be a good cop if you believe in superstitions like that. I can say whatever I want. It's not like she's suddenly gonna break. Uh, what? What's wrong? Uh-oh. Hey, you two. Wakamo well, hasn't escaped from the corrections bureau again, has she? Huh? Yeah, yes. I, I mean, no, she hasn't. She's right here. Then would you care to explain to me why I can see her on my security cameras right now? Why are there more than one of her? Two, three... They just keep coming! You can't be serious. Karina, remove her mask! Me? Okay. Crud. Our cover's blown. Who's this? She got us! It's the old switcheroo! But if she's a fake, where's the real Wakamo? This is bad. Don't tell me. Oh boy. She's coming for me again. At last! It's finally here! Oh, oh how I've longed for this very moment. This is my chance now that everyone's attention is turned toward, toward their corrections bureau. Now we can finally be alone. Just you and me, Sensei. Now I see why she was one of the seven prisoners. Blue stacks? Uh oh. No, blue stacks crashed on me at the very end. At no. All right. She counter. She counter attacked without anyone. Anyone, 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 anyone having noticed, and she escaped this time. Not impressive. But it's over now. Thanks to Sensei's leadership, there's no one left to, to help you, and still no equipment has been disabled. You met your match, Fox of Calamity. Trying to escape from the cor corner you back yourself into, so be it. I'd rather, I'd rather avoid there being more dead bodies to look at, or rather, more wounded to take care of. So it's time to end this. I'm going to chase after her, Sensei. Some of her forces may still be trying to regroup and cause trouble. I suggest you reconvene with the Valkyrie students to be safe. But Senna, and she goes. Well, it's too late. Senna already took off to chase chase Wakamo. I stood there for a while, wondering what I should do next. Sensei, are you okay? You haven't been hurt, have you? I'm fine. What's wrong? You seem panicked. Wait, are you alone? What happened to the Gihanna student you were with? She chased after Wakamo? Sensei, no, it's a trap! A trap? This is the Wakama's plan from the very beginning. She was causing all those incidents to draw every law enforcement agency's focus on her. There's no time to explain. I need you to stay calm and follow my instructions. I just hacked into a system near where you are. You did? I can see the nearby security cameras, traffic light, and traffic lights to guide you to safety. Oh, that way. Now we're losing communications! Jammed! I lost her. You connect with your hero and remain at their lo at a loss, but do win. Oh boy, I finally found you! Huh? Meanwhile. Report the Fox Clown has been spotted in the DU shopping district, requesting backup. She has reinforcements with her. We can't handle them alone. Come in, this is, this is the D West Street unit. I read a lot of clear. I repeat, send support to. No can do. The Fox family escaped from the Corrections Bureau and is attacking the West Street Festival. We're requesting backup. Wait, what? Sony Wakamos. Repeat, we have eyes on Wakamo. I 
That's impossible. We're engaged with the Fox of Calamity in DU Central in Central Street. So many. They multiply. What's going on, Fabuki? Heck, if I know, are, are all of them fake? Yes. What well, common plan all is to escape the Corrections Bureau. This was an elaborate diversion so that she, she could confront Sensei, Sensei by herself. A what? We have to warn Sensei right away. I've already tried. Our comms are being jammed. Where did she get equipment capable of something like this? Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? It wasn't from Valkyrie, was it? Never mind. We don't have time for that. If we can't make the contact with Sensei from here, well, that leaves us with one other option. Do you know how to drive? Me? I set up a jamming device so that no one can interrupt us. Stealing Valkyrie's equipment on a, on a whim turned out to be quite useful. Once you say so, Sensei. A combo. Ooh. Oh, how I've waited. You have no idea how long I've been dreaming for this moment. How long, or how long I struggled to make it happen. Removing all the obstacles surrounding you brew to be quite difficult. But at last, nothing is standing in my way. I've been thinking all this time what I must do to get this close to you. Or better yet, what I would do once I was alone with you like this. That's why you waged war with Valkyrie? <laughs> it wasn't well, the only way, it was, it was the only way to take care of the eyes off you and place them on me. I caused such a stir that they had no choice but to focus all their their attention on me. It was all to create the opportunity to finally be alone with you. But enough talk, I can't hold back any longer. Uh oh. Ooh. Long last, I can feel my deepest desires. So. Will you accept this, Sensei? Is this chocolate? Of course. Today's a special day, so I made it just for you. But why, why chocolate? Wait. This is Valentine's Day we're talking about, an important holiday. It's a day of exchanging chocolate and being happy. Valentine's Day is a special exception, being such an important holiday. It's meant to be a day where people exchange chocolate to convey the feelings they carry in their hearts. Does this mean? Yes, it was love at first sight. Since the moment we met, I've been longing for you in my heart, waiting for this day. And now we're alone at last. I can give you this chocolate to show you how I feel. I couldn't be any more happier. Everything that happened today was to give me chocolate. Yes, Sensei. Why couldn't she just do this normally? Don't get me wrong. I'm grateful and all, but... I think you went a little too far, Wakamo. What? You caused a lot of trouble because of me. Don't you even uh, ha ha don't you even feel a little remorseful? What you did today was wrong. But Sensei, Valentine's Day is supposed to be today is when people are supposed to convey their, their true feelings to one another. I did everything I did today was to show you how I feel. I understand, but it can't come at the expense of others. But I... You're not the only one who had special plans today. Think of the bystanders of, those, of whose special days are you ruined. I was only trying to... If you can't understand that, then I'm truly disappointed in you. Huh. You're disappointed in me? Everything I did for you was for you. But it was wrong. I disappointed you. Uh-oh. This can't be happening! I don't know what I'd do with myself if I made you hate me. But I have faith that you can learn from this and be better. You believe in me? You don't hate me despite the mistakes I've made. I always believe in giving my students second chances. I couldn't hate one of my students. Just promise to do better. I'm one of your students? Ah, uh, of course. I, I'll do better next time. Anything for you, Sensei. From now on, I won't do anything to dis disappoint you. I'll follow the rules and be your best student. Okay. Promise? Yes, I promise. Something tells me that she's not gonna follow that. Sensei, my dearest sensei! Oh boy. 
And on that note, it would seem those inner loafers are on their way here to and tear up my our precious time alone. That's okay. We had time to make our promise together. With that, I know I can endure the sadness of this temporary farewell. I'm sure of it. Goodbye for now, my dearest sensei. S see you later. Indeed, I'm looking forward to it. So long, my darling. Uh-oh. That's just crazy. Sensei, you all right? Fubuki, look, the Fox of Calamity is escaping. Can't let her get away. Do whatever it takes to catch her. And so the chase resumed, and I spliced it back this time, back this time as, all I, as all I could do was blankly stare at the chocolate Wakamo gave me. Oh boy, what an event. Epilogue. He managed to reclaim most of the student stolen equipment, but at least half of it was broken. Most of the troublemakers who aided the Fox and Clanion were also arrested and sent to the correctional facilities. And that pretty much puts a cap on things. And also, the students from other academies that came to help had messages they wanted us to pass, to pass along to you. <sighs> Yuka said, I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help. I know, right? Suzumi and Chinatsu said much the same for both scheduled regular meetings with Shell to discuss effective countermeasures against Wakamo. I could have used the help. As for Hasumi, she said, um, why don't you tell us the chocolate bars provided during tell us the chocolate bars provided during the operation were 1,200 calories each? Hold up, Karina, that was directed at us. She had something for Sensei before that. Oh yeah, sorry about that. She said. Please let me know if you ever needed my help again. Oh boy. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll think them all later. Oh, thank goodness it's over. Talk about a hectic Valentine's Day. My grades took a real beating, too. Meanwhile, the Fox and Clamley is still at large. It was all for nothing. She must have been just toying with us the entire time. No wonder she was one of the seven prisoners. God, it makes me so mad when I think about it. What's worth, I think you don't hold it fine. Anyway, that concludes our report on the Valentine's Day incident. We'll give you a call if something else comes up. Catch you later, Sensei. Let's go out for donuts to sometime. Oh, one call already? Hello? Hi, it's Senna. Hello, Sensei. My apologies for not calling you sooner. There's something I wanted to discuss. I'm sorry we didn't continue our patrol yesterday. I never want—I never should have allowed myself to be fooled by that miscreant and let you alone like that. It's my duty to protect the dead at all costs, and... Dead? <laughs> sorry, I meant to say the injured and vulnerable. My poor judgment could have turned you into a corpse, though. My sincerest apologies. It's fine, we're both flustered. Are you saying I should keep looking forward rather than dwell on my, my mistakes? Adult wisdom, then. I'll take your word, oh, word to heart. I really didn't say that much, you know. Regardless, I should be going now. I look forward to the next time we can work together. Oh boy. After hanging up, I decided to unwind and read through the documents regarding yesterday's damages. Doorbell! Come in, it's open. Who is it? Hello, lady. I'm deducting 40 points from your security score. You leave your door wide unlocked and welcome people in when you don't even know who's at the other side of the door? How many times must I tell you to take security more seriously? I let you, I let you in and this is how you treat me? <laughs> Not only that, but I can see several blind spots in Shell's security system. The lock in the front entrance seems to be broken. No wonder you don't keep up and keep it locked. You can't. What happened to it? I don't know. Wear and tear? You're this club's advisor. Shouldn't you take this th things more seriously? <sighs> it'd, be more, it'd be one thing if it were only a software issue. That's not, there's, that's, there's not much I can do when it comes to repairing hardware. You should put in a request with the engineering club to have, come have, have a look. Granted, they'll, they'll likely add some functions to the door that it doesn't even need. But it's better than letting, in, letting it remain unbroken. 
let it remain broken and they're trustworthy, if nothing else. Oh, I didn't realize they were your friends. I wouldn't go that far. Anyway, I came to apologize for yesterday. Why? You didn't do anything wrong. Nonsense. I was one in charge of the festival's security solutions. I take responsibility for not catching the security holes that were taken advantage of sooner. I'm sorry. I'll pay closer attention to prevent something like that happening again. Sometimes you need to have your faults exposed in order to become stronger, both in security and in life. I mean, that's kind of true. I mean, I won't, I won't argue with that. That's that's how that's how you improve on and things in life, you know. That's all I wanted to say. I'll be going then. I'll come see you again when I'm ready to run another routine chat. Sure. See you later. Yeah. Later. Thankfully, the aftermath of the Valentine's Day incident was going smoothly thanks to the hard work of my students. Hmm. Students. Oh boy. Not again! What the? What now? Oh god, it's Wakamo. Wakamo? What are you doing here? You made a mess in my office! I'm making good on what I said yesterday. The door was open, so I decided to show myself in. See? This is me seeing you later. Maybe Chihiro was right about the door. <laughs> I've met many different kinds of students since I arrived in Kavodos. Wakama was undoubtedly the most persistent. I'll just have to get used to having her around because I don't think she'll be going anywhere for a long, long time. Lord, it's a combo for you. All right, that is going to be it for the Valentine's Day events. So, um, with that out of the way, uh, I might do the patrols. So why not? I don't see why I can't do the patrol, uh, or not the patrols, the, the story, the relationship stories. I might do those. Those are pretty quick and easy. So that's so that'll probably be a short video. So I don't see I don't see why I shouldn't do them. So, um, so I'll probably do those. So the next event that we'll be doing is the Clumsy Sister and the Magician of the Old Library. We're getting, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Uh, so that's my plan. So, uh, thanks for coming to watch. And I will see you in the next part. Later.